أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله now here we are with the fourth problem okay this one uh, you have two concepts involved you have the concept of projectile motion and also the impulse momentum theory the, 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 the impulse uh, the change in momentum sorry involved okay let us read the problem okay the problem says a projectile of mass m the mass is not given so we will maintain this m as the mass throughout our calculation is fired with a velocity v again the velocity is just a letter it's not given but this letter represents the velocity and we will use it throughout our solution process from a point on the ground at an angle of 45 degrees this is the projection angle to the horizontal what is the magnitude okay because they mention magnitude we will make sure that we have an absolute value okay if we have a negative sign we are going to ignore it but there is a pretty uh, uh, simple step to ignore the negative sign which i'm going to show you what is the magnitude of the change in momentum when it touches the ground okay what in other words what is the expression for the change in momentum in terms of m v and this angle that you are given what, what what how do you represent it what is the expression for that that's the question okay you need to understand you need to uh understand the concept of projectile motion for you to be able to solve this problem so i'm going to draw this and show you you see you have this let's say this is the projection plane okay and we know that a projectile motion is a two-dimensional motion let's say it started from here it moves all the way to here again you see at this point when it is projected it has a momentum let me call this point point p then when it reaches the projection plane again it touches the ground again it also has a momentum let me call this q so it means between here and here there is change in momentum the question is what is the magnitude of this change okay we know that it is projected with an initial velocity and the value of that initial velocity is v okay remember this v has vertical component and the vertical component we call it u sub y and this u sub y uh, okay we are given the angle here as 45 degrees the angle of projection and uh, to get the vertical component you take this one v and you say sine multiplied by sine of this angle 45 degrees equivalently it has a horizontal component and then this horizontal component we call it u sub x and u sub x is you take this v and you say cos 45 degrees now here is the thing at any point this u sub x is constant u sub x is constant at this point and it is horizontal u sub x is constant at the highest point here u sub x is uh, 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 u sub x is constant when you get here u sub x is constant and even when it reaches the ground the u sub x remains constant so if there is no change in the vertical uh, in the horizontal velocity u sub x horizontally no change in velocity there will be no change in momentum along the horizontal direction okay or you say that the change in momentum along the horizontal is zero because the horizontal velocity changes and momentum uh, for momentum to change velocity has to change velocity hasn't changed so momentum does not change so it means that the change in momentum they want us to find is not in respect of the horizontal component of the velocity we have to resort to the vertical component of the velocity then for the vertical component of the velocity at this point when it is just projected it has the maximum value but 
as it is going upward, this one is uh, decreasing progressively. And at the highest point here, this uh, U sub Y is zero. Now, when it leaves this uh, 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 vertical uh, highest point, this uh, maximum height, then it, uh, it is now the direction is downward okay and it will be increasing increasing progressively and at this point it will have the highest value then uh, if it started here with 20 meter per second vertical velocity this will be shrinking 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 to zero and then it will begin to increase increase and back to the 20 meter per second you see that it means the initial vertical velocity and then the final vertical velocity are the same. The only difference is that these are the same in magnitude. The only difference is that is that this one, uh, since we are dealing with velocity, okay. The, uh, remember that for a vector has magnitude, magnitude, and direction. Okay. If any one of these two changes or both change then the vector has changed. Here we can see that the magnitude, the size remain the same. You see, the size remain the same. There is no change in magnitude, but the direction changes. Here when it is projected, it is upward. Now when it reaches here, it is downward. Because there is change in direction, there is change in velocity. And this will constitute change in momentum. Now. Uh, but as for the horizontal one that we say it doesn't change, it is always in this direction, always to the left. When it is here, you see to the left, 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 no change in direction. And also the magnitude, if this one is 50 meter per second, 50 meter per second, it will remain 50, 50, 50. So there is constancy in the magnitude and the direction combined. So we ignore the, hori uh, the, the, the horizontal and we resort to the vertical. Now, uh, it means uh, here, where, where, uh, to, to, to start with, we are going to say that our, let me show you as quickly as possible, uh, our, we have u sub x and u sub x is v cos, uh, v cos 45 degrees. And this one is a constant. And because it is a constant, I have no business with it. So I'm going to leave that one. But u sub y, I have to say initial here. u sub y initial is equal to, look at it here. Now, uh, for simplicity, I want to take upward as negative and then downward as positive. You have to do that. When vectors are oppositely directed, one direction should be negative, the other one should be positive. You have a choice. If you like, you can take uh, vertical as positive, downward as negative. Okay. Uh, but here, since they mention magnitude, we want to have a positive value. So for that, we have upward negative, downward positive. Um, this means that my velocity here, I will regard it, my velocity here, I will regard it as uh, negative. So my u sub y initial is minus uh, v sine 45 degrees. And then when it reaches here, when it reaches here, you see it is downward and it is positive, but the, the, the magnitude is still this one. Because after reaching zero, I told you, it will now increase back to its initial value. So, but only that it is positive. So our u sub y vertical velocity final is equal to now it is positive v sine 45 degrees. <clears throat> so what about change in momentum now? Change in momentum is equal to momentum final minus momentum initial. That's change in momentum. So my momentum final will be, remember, momentum is mass times velocity. So momentum final is mass times final velocity, which is final vertical velocity. M U sub Y F minus M, M what? Uh, uh, initial, so initial vertical velocity, M U sub Y I, initial. 
So this is equal to now I can substitute what I have. This is m. My use of yf is this one and it's positive. So I will just say mv sine 45 degrees here and then minus uh, m. But my use of y i is negative can you see so i will open bracket and say negative v sine 45 degrees moving on this is equal to m v sine 45 degrees minus minus will give me plus and then i have m v here m v again and then sine 45 degrees you can see that the two terms are identical they are identical because they are identical, I will just take one of them and multiply it by 2. It's just like having x plus x, and you know the answer is 2x. So when you have identical expression, you just take 2, two and you multiply it by one of them, 2v sine 45 degrees. Now, what is sine 45 degrees? Okay, this 2mv sine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. I will show you how. And then moving on, you see these two under will cancel the two you have here. And you have a, a square root of two. This square root of two will be multiplied by mv here. You see, mv are not in the root. So this is the magnitude of the change in momentum. So you can say change in momentum is equal to square root of two mv. This is... Uh, the magnitude of the change in momentum now to satisfy your curiosity how did i get this uh sine 45 degrees as square root of 2 over 2 let me show you that on the next page as uh, this is your rough work this is a rough work here okay look at it here i have for for, uh, for special angles if i have uh, something like this this is one one and this is uh, 45 degrees uh, this one is from math by pythagoras theorem i get this so you can see that my sine 45 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse one over square root of two and my uh, sorry my cos 45 degrees cos is adjacent over hypotenuse again 1 over square root of 2. If I want to get 10 45, uh, 45 degrees, 10 is opposite over adjacent which is 1 upon 1 and you have 1. This is from math. Now, my, I, I want to, uh, I want to uh, change my 1 upon square root of 2 into this square root of 2 over 2. How do I do that? remember third in math okay there is what they call rationalization of the denominator i have one upon square root of two if i want to rationalize the denominator i will multiply this by square root of two over square root of two meaning i will take the denominator here and say multiplied by i will construct another fraction okay of uh, the, the 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 numerator and the denominator are the same and they are this one so this will now be 1 times root 2 will give you root 2 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 will give you 2. That's how I got it. Now, okay, let me show you that. Uh, let's see, square root of 2, can you see? Now I have to say times another square root of 2. What do you have? Yes, 2. So simply from the calculator, then you take this one and bring it here where is it and then you bring it here okay you can see the square root of 2 over 2 that's for sine 45 degrees to cancel 2 then you move on this is the end of this video and i hope you enjoyed it assalamu alaikum warahmatullah